It's CEO here and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to share some pro tips and tricks with you all about the festive slash Christmas season in Animal Crossing New Horizons. A big part of the festive season, AKA the Christmas, Hanukkah, and Kwanzaa seasons as we know them in real life, are the festive items and DIYs. These items are perfect for getting your island into the holiday spirit and most require ornaments to craft them. So my first pro tip is to have 28 fully grown cedar trees and 10 fully grown hardwood trees on your island before December 15th and I'll explain why. Regardless of your island's hemisphere, the festive season officially begins on December 15th and runs through January 6th. This window is the only time you can harvest ornament crafting materials, including the blue, red, and rare gold ornaments. These are important to collect if you want to craft any of the festive items you see here in my DIY app. You can only collect ornaments from cedar trees. When the festive season starts, a random number of fully grown cedar trees on your island will become decorated. If you don't have any cedar trees on your island, you won't be able to spawn any decorated ones. I don't know why these are the magic numbers that work, but if you have 28 fully grown cedar trees and 10 fully grown hardwood trees planted on your island before December 15th, fruit trees don't count, your island will spawn decorated cedar trees starting the beginning of the festive season. If you have less than 28 cedar trees and 10 hardwood trees, your island may not spawn decorated ones and you won't be able to collect any ornaments. If you want more information about decorated cedar trees, including how to fix your island if you don't have any and you're having trouble spawning them, I made a whole video that goes into more detail linked above and in the description. Once you have your decorated cedar trees, you'll want to farm as many ornaments as possible from them if your goal is to get your island into the holiday spirit. So my second pro tip is to understand this 3x5 grid, which is the secret to spawning ornaments. Each decorated tree can spawn infinite ornaments, but none will spawn if this 3x5 grid around your tree is occupied by other placed or dropped items. This is important because ornaments are relatively rare to spawn. Blue and red ornaments have a drop rate of 7.5%, and gold ornaments have a drop rate of 5%. So any occupied tile severely limits how many ornaments will fall from your tree. Once you're done shaking your decorated cedar tree and every spot in the grid is filled with ornaments, excluding the tile where the tree is planted, you'll need to pick all of them up to continue shaking the tree to spawn more ornaments. My footage is sped up, so it may take you a few minutes to spawn them on every tile. If if only half your grid is filling up with ornaments, you'll need to move to the other side of the tree and shake from there. This is a trick the game plays on you, because even if you're standing directly in front of the tree at no angle, the game will pick a specific side of the grid to spawn ornaments first. Now you've done so much work to get these beautiful illuminated cedar trees on your island that you don't want to accidentally delete them. So my third pro tip is to not dig up any decorated cedar trees for any reason under any circumstance between December 15th and January 6th. Unlike fruit and money trees, where digging them up does not remove any fruit or money hanging on them, digging up decorated cedar trees will automatically remove their decorations. When you replant these trees, they'll turn into regular cedar trees and you won't be able to harvest any ornaments from them. So if you're working hard on collecting these, be careful not to dig up or move your decorated cedar trees until the festive season is over. Otherwise, you may have trouble spawning another one and you may need to time travel out of the festive season to spawn a replacement, which could affect all of your decorated cedar trees on your island. If you want to be super careful, place a toilet next to each of your decorated cedar trees. Sitting on the toilet will make your villager go to the bathroom, which deletes your super strength points and removes your ability to dig up trees. You can even build a fence around all of your decorated cedar trees and place a toilet as the entrance to act as a gate, which will force you to go to the bathroom before even getting near them. Now, snowflakes aren't inherently Christmas themed, but since they appear during the festive season in the Northern Hemisphere, I wanted to throw in a pro tip about them. Regular snowflakes are needed to craft the frozen DIY set, which are DIYs given to you by snowboys. You collect snowflakes by catching them with the net when you see them floating through the air. If your aim is good, then you have nothing to worry about. But if your net catching skills need work, my fourth pro tip is to avoid fast movements around snowflakes, which means you need to be careful when trying to catch one, because if you miss too many times, the snowflake will disappear into thin air. Also avoid running into or around snowflakes. This will cause them to despawn, and even your villagers can interrupt you and make your snowflakes disappear. If you're on a quest to collect every rare Christmas item in the game, my fifth pro tip is to not ignore Jingle. If you're not familiar, Jingle is the reindeer NPC in charge of Toy Day, which takes place December 24th on your island. Jingle's quest is pretty simple. Deliver presents to your villagers. This is easy since Jingle gives you everything you need to complete the event. However, 
You want to pay attention to what Jingle gives you before the villager gift quest starts. When you first talk to Jingle, he'll ask you to craft three festive wrapping papers. After you do that and give them to Jingle, he will give you the exclusive Toy Day stockings item you can only get from him. But don't just place this item on a wall and forget about it or store it away until next year. Display this item on a wall in your house. Then the next day, December 25th until January 1st, return to the Toy Day stocking item. Get close to it on the wall and press A. A secret dialogue will appear and your villager will receive Jingle's photo that was hidden in the stockings. Which Christmas pro tip and trick is your favorite? Let me know in the comments if you already knew about these or if you learned something new. Thank you for watching, happy holidays, and I'll see you in the next one. A huge thank you to my YouTube channel members for your continued support of me and my channel. All my members get these super awesome perks, including getting all of your comments hearted by me, priority when I do multiplayer events on my Animal Crossing live streams, and 24-7 access to my Treasure Island, and 24-7 access to my new Catalog Island. My Treasure Island is an island full of items dropped on the ground that you can take, including every crafting material, all the new DIYs from the 2.0 update, all seasonal DIYs, Nook Mile tickets, and so much more. I'm also now offering a 24-7 Catalog Island that is every item you can catalog. This is the best and quickest way to get hundreds of items you don't have yet. This is my current catalog island map and for more information about cataloging I've linked my tutorial in the description. If you would like to become a member and get access to these amazing and helpful perks you can click the link above or in the description or you can click the join button on my channel's homepage or in the link in my about section. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.